Thank you. Uh, great. Welcome. Welcome first to you all. My name is Thomas Mandel from the University of Hildesheim. I welcome you all and it's my great pleasure to open this JCDL conference for 2022. And welcome to all of you here in Cologne. And then we move to the slide sets here and of course welcome you also online who participate in the online hybrid mode that is very well organized from our staff here in the back. <laughs> so welcome to the ACM IEEE Joint Conference on Digital Libraries. Uh, welcome to all to the digital libraries field, definitely. Welcome to a ACM and IEEE Joint Conference, also not so common. And welcome, of course, to beautiful city of Cologne. And that means a lot after the pandemic, yeah, we can finally meet again in a, a, real, a real setup in presence in reality and talk to each other and the room is filling up here so uh, that will be quite a nice experience especially in a nice days hot days here in the nice city of cologne welcome also to europe uh, uh, because the acm digital library conference took only place once in europe and the joint conference has never taken place in Europe so far. So this is really a first time. And so again, a great uh, um, thing. And we're glad to be part of this. Also, welcome to new and in innovative conference formats. Our hybrid is now the standard, we could say, but every hybrid conference is a little bit different and the setup uh, is uh, constant, continuously changed and adopted to the requirements of the particular conference. There were already online sessions yesterday and uh, present sessions at Doctor Consortium. So we see an interesting mix of the, the, the modes here. Um, innovative, I think, is the Meet the Experts session. So that is be uh, particularly interesting for the online participants. More will be said about that. But it's a good opportunity for you to really online meet in kind of a closed room. Um, an expert who has been a senior expert who has been outstanding in the field and with whom you can really interact. It's like taking this person on a coffee break and, and talking to him. That we can try to replicate now in the digital format as, as far as possible. Also, what we saw quite innovative here in this conference this year was the variable length submissions. So let's get away from this fixed, strange uh, page numbers that uh, maybe not be maybe not uh, be good for all uh, submissions. So that was also quite nice and I think it uh, worked very well. So great uh, that we have these things. Yeah, the online uh, and offline participation. Here are the numbers. We see that the uh, on-site conference has 38 uh, um, participants. Almost all of them are here right now, I think. Uh, uh, online participation is crowd is a little bigger, so uh, yeah, the majority there on the uh, on the screens, 72. It's up uh, exactly to 110. And uh, we have also the satellite events, uh, diverse and innovative, interesting workshops and uh, other events. There we have a participation of 81. And the NFDI, for those who haven't heard about it, National uh, Research Data Infrastructure, Germany. Uh, there is also an online offline mix here and 92 people. So overall around 300 participants. And I think that's really quite a successful conference, a big conference in this field. Well, welcome to the great technical program, of course, uh, um, that was carefully selected and uh, competitively selected here. Uh, I was at some point part of the, the uh, process and that uh, was really done with uh, particular care. The, the chairs, the program chairs really met with the meta reviewers to discuss each paper to really make justice and even out uh, uh, um, reviewer judgments that might not always be aligned very well on, on normalized. So there was a lot of care was taken here and we had very good discussions there. And now you can benefit from this great technical program in digital libraries. 
digital libraries, I don't want to go, I don't have to go into details of the technical program. You will have read the, the titles and will have said, uh, be seeing the talks. Don't have to repeat uh, definitions of digital libraries here, but I think it's quite obvious. And what I see in the program is that we really have uh, uh, very clear, uh, we can really see very clear what, are the, what is the essence of digital libraries. So it goes beyond normal information systems. It's really about quality of content. How can we ensure that? Uh, how can we improve uh, quality, uh, cont uh, content quality? How can we have improved access methods? And how can we have a user-oriented information system, user-oriented access? I think all of these diverse topics come together very nicely and we can see them and find them in the technical program of the talks. Bridging worlds, that is the motto of the top of the conference that fits very well into Cologne. Oh, we see not yet the Rhine, but very, very close to it. Uh, so uh, the bridging and the, the bridge on the, on, this, uh, on the photo that is on, on the main page uh, are quite a good symbol. Of course, here with this uh, river and the bridge that didn't always exist, this used to be a very significant border between the Roman Empire and well, the rest, the non-Roman Empire, the rest of the world. So quite significant when you cross this uh, border a uh, long time ago. Still, it means something to the people of Cologne on which side you, you live. Uh, so it maintains its significance somehow. And uh, the digital libraries are also a bridge between different things. Of course, we have the international conference that bridges between the countries. Digital libraries as a field, we have talked about the diversity of the aspects, user orientation, uh, improved search. So we obviously see a bridge between communities. We see a bridge between disciplines and research uh, or methods. We see approaches that come from information science, from libraries, from the library field even. Uh, when we talk about scientometrics and, and these things. And we see approaches from uh, user-oriented disciplines. We see approaches from computer science. So the digital libraries, in order to really uh, do justice to this field, has to bridge and overcome uh, these barriers and try to be a bridge. And here, I think, as I said, this fits quite well. Some room announcements. Now let's go for some organizational issues. Uh, there are two extra rooms here, apart from this one. Physical rooms now, uh, real rooms for those who are listening online. It's not a Zoom room. And they are right next door. The, the first one is the social room. You can have, take a coffee there. And you can really interact, sit there, mingle, discuss. Now that we have not met in such a long time, maybe if you skip one talk, don't sit here, don't do your emails, just go there and take the opportunity and really talk to each other. Uh, so uh, quite next door, so it's really nice uh, idea here by the organizers. And there's also a quiet room. Uh, some people might have some meetings uh, or some important emails to answer. So there's or, uh, or might really uh, have to do some work. There's also an opportunity. To, it's right next door. So the, if you go out the first room to the right is the social room. The next room to the right is the uh, quiet room. And there's also the coffee machine right next to it. So uh, enjoy and you can really uh, make best, take uh, really advantage of these opportunities. Yeah, welcome reception today then. After the interesting talk, we will be tired and we have the chance to uh, have a welcome reception and uh, I guess have a small drink, I suppose, yes. Uh, again, of course, only for those who are present here, not the online crowd. Uh, and we will meet at the Echo restaurant. Here's the address. You can also find the link in the, uh, if you scan the, the QR codes here on the walls and you'll find it somehow online. So come there, please, and uh, enjoy the company of everybody there. Echo Restaurant, quite close now, I think 10 minute walk. Tomorrow, we also have a little later at 7.30 then a conference dinner. 
at a Mediterrano restaurant, which is a little closer to the center, right? It's very close to the, to the cathedral. So again, great opportunity to see the core uh, heart of Cologne and uh, enjoy the company of uh, some of your colleagues. So now we come to the last part of my uh, opening. Um, to the thanks, oh, there's, uh, uh, such a great conference would not be possible without the real dedicated work of, of many, many people. First, we thank the sponsors to make this possible. Such a hybrid conference and with all the uncertainties that we had in the months bef uh, before we came here, how can we do it? Can we do it online? C uh, can we do a presence part? How big can that be? How many people will register? There's so much uncertainty that uh, financial risk was quite high. I heard that it more or less uh, evens out now, uh, I hope at least. And uh, it would not be possible without these uh, sponsors, especially Gezis, the institute that is really making this possible and uh, investing some here. We see SIGIR and, and uh, the German Research Foundation as major sponsors here. So thanks to all of these. Then thanks to the program chairs. Uh, Annika is here. Ryapan is here. Uh, I think most people are here. The two Philips were the main actors in the technical program. So thanks for all of you. Really hard work, as I said. Really balanced program to try to cover all topics and to really make justice to the quality from an overall perspective, trying to normalize the diverse reviewers. So that was really, really uh, a lot of investment here. Thanks, of course, also to the authors who submitted here to send their work to this conference, to all the reviewers and meta reviewers who did a lot of work in short time, and to all who were and are still supporting the organization of the conference. The staff in the back who makes the technical implementation possible, uh, David Brodesser, the hybrid chair, thanks to all of you. Really, really nice to have this in this nice hybrid mode. And of course, thanks and voila to Jaco, who really deserves to be mentioned explicitly. He did the most of the organization. So really think, I think you deserve these virtual flowers here. Uh, without you, there would have been not so, uh, not some uh, uh, successful conference. And I, we had a lot of meetings with all these uncertainties. I know how much you invested and how dedicated your work was. So great. Thank you very much here. Voila.